टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट Hello, Mataji. Man, you're watching Hornbill TV's Prime Time. Now headlines. Congress leader and sitting MP of Vienna, Rahul Gandhi, filed his nomination on Wednesday. His sister and party's general secretary, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, and other party leaders were present during the filing of his nomination. A powerful 7.2 magnitude earthquake rocked Taiwan on Wednesday, the strongest tremor to hit the island in at least 25 years, killing at least four people, injuring dozens, and sparking nearby Japan to issue a brief evacuation advisory for coastal areas. Former Prime Minister of India Manmohan Singh, the first Prime Minister of outside the Nehru Gandhi family to compete 10 years in office, will finish a remarkable political inning in the Rajya Sabha spanning 33 years on Wednesday. Congress leader and sitting MP of Vyanath, Rahul Gandhi filed his nomination on Wednesday. His sister and party's general secretary, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, and other party leaders were present during the filing of his nomination. Earlier, Rahul Gandhi held a rally ahead of filing his nomination. Addressing the gathering, Rahul Gandhi said that he treats people of the constituency in the same way he treats his younger sister, Priyanka Gandhi. He further said that he was always ready to bring Vyanath's issues to the attention of the nation and world. Earlier, Rahul Gandhi held a road show in the constituency. Thousands of party workers and supporters turned up for the road show. The Congress leader was accompanied by his sister Priyanka Gandhi and AICC General Secretary KC Venukopal and Deepa Dashmunshi, as well as Leader of Opposition in the State Assembly V. Sadeshan and KPCC Acting President M. M. Hassan. Like we do from all families, I have received love and affection. I have learned so much from my brothers, my sisters. It has been an honor for me to be your member of parliament. Priyapata Sahodri Sahodar Mare, Nanaka and everybody participated. In the summer, the Jordan, why not in the parliament and come out in the day? Get to me, you boom the idea, young government. I don't treat you and think of you like an electorate. I treat you and think of you the same way I think of my little sister Priyanka over here. Yeah, Nengale, Etrabatram, Seikunu, and the other one, and Nengala Seikunu, and the Kuchis Havodri, Priyanka, but I'm doing another. So in the houses, Oh, why not? I have sisters, I have mothers, I have fathers, I have brothers, and I thank you with the bottom from the bottom of my heart for that. Remembering her grandfather, Lieutenant Colonel William Felix Bruno Brown, commanding officer of the First Assam Regiment, Battle of Koima, 1994. Koima Education Trustee Charlotte Carty from Melbourne Port set out to follow in her grandfather's footsteps. PM. Lieutenant Colonel William Brown was the first commanding officer of the 1st Assam Regiment at the time of the Battle of Kohima in 1944. Speaking to the media after reaching Kohima, Carty said she is seeking to recreate the walk to highlight the achievement of all of the forces who fought in Kohima and to remember the local Naga people who were so vital in the campaign and in particular, the fighting withdrawal of the Sam Regiment back to Jisami. I noticed again that somebody said a short message. I think people get to know that I talk too much. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to say thank you for the most extraordinary welcome. It's been a, a wonderful welcome here. Uh, here in Kohima, at Jisame, at Karasom, at Fek, we have been warmly welcomed everywhere we have. I hope people
people who are traveling to this part of the world for the first time have seen what an amazing country this is and the amazing people who live here and they should be uh, celebrated. The Allies certainly celebrated the Nagas because they recognized how brave they were and that without their support there would have been no Allied victory here at Kuhima. My grandfather Lieutenant Colonel William Felix Brown, in quarter of an hour, arrived in from Jessamy with some of his men who had been fighting there five days and nights. They covered the 77 miles from that village to Kohima in just 39 hours. I can tell you it's the hardest thing I have ever done when I tried to replicate that over the last couple of days. I think those who were able to take part in the walk would also say that it was an extremely difficult thing to do. We hadn't been fighting for five days and nights beforehand. We have nice trainers and blister packs of April that was the, was the time that the first shots were exchanged here. And then they fought, the Assam Regiment fought here until they were relieved on the 20th of April. I just find that unbelievable. And I think it's something we should all know and we should all remember. And that's what a lot of this has been about, making sure that the torch of remembrance is kept burning and handed down to the next generation. There were some older folks such as myself on this walk, but there were also uh, many, many younger people too. And it's wonderful to be able to share these stories with them so that they will also remember the great actions and bravery of our Yes, Yes, um, we started off at midnight from Jessamy on the 1st of April. We were all gathered in the lodge, the uh, council lodge there. And we counted down and we left from the Jessamy Memorial to the Assam Regiment. And we started walking, it was dark but a beautiful night. And there was great excitement and uh, some cheering as we left. But it was hard, from there on it was very hard work. And but everyone really supported each other. The teams worked well together. Bertie and his team kept us all um, well fed, well watered and well looked after. And then um, the majority of us got back, which su certainly I'm surprised that I got back, but that was again because of the comradeship of everybody. How important has It was very emotional. It was also very hard. <laughs> there is beautiful Naga landscapes, but my goodness, you like mountains. <laughs> It was, it was wonderful to think that we were literally to the hour replicating what he and his men um, were doing 80 years ago, trying to make it as historically accurate as possible. Of course, we don't know exactly where they went, but we tried to make a, um, a, a, a good recreation. And it was very emotional for everybody involved. What can the younger generation... I think that the younger generation can learn that remembering the past is very important and to try to take all these lessons into their future um, and they, the younger people of Nagaland need to recognize how amazing their country is and uh, to celebrate it. What the best is to come to the future? Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, we believe this. Let's look to God in prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. In some exciting news for parent football lovers and all football lovers, the Mapur Sporting Club in collaboration with Big Hit Sliga Dream in Initiative to identify and scout six under 13 and under 15 football teams across India, a press release stated. The Football League, Pan India Trials and Tournaments participating footballers will surpass competition to pave their way to the national finals after which a bunch of jurors including international coaches from Bundesliga, Clubs and local Indian coaches will select squads for Bundesliga Dream India, it mentioned. Moreover, the scouted footballers will fly to Germany for a disruptive training experience at the Bundesliga Youth Academies throughout FY23-24 to and 24-25. In a lifetime opportunity, they will indulge in friendly matches against Bundesliga Youth teams 
Torah educational programs and more. For those interested players eager to participate in the trials, the organizers explained that each individual had to be born after April 2011. For registration, players are required to log in directly from the Big Hit Sports app available in Google Play Store or visit the Instagram page Dimapur Sporting Club. The Football League TFL is an initiative of Big Hit designed to host and organize trials and tournaments for multiple age groups across various states and cities of India. The idea is to provide the youth of Indian football with an opportunity and platform to showcase their talent and fort ahead as well as to scout the best and top talent for Bundesliga, Dream Under-13 and Under-15 and FC Baron Youth Cup Under-16. We'll take a short break. Keep watching. Gorumte pet aromonke thandarake toki muki khali mitha he lage idu healthy ase UHD treated aro safabi ase third idu fresh ase aro muzabi wow kevinter lassi mitha bi healthy bi kevinter lassi mitha bi healthy bi ghar jal pratirodhak cement se nahi bana to padhega rona पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शीट सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शीट जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट Because sometimes news is more than mere information. And we all need a little more clarity under the details. About life, people and events that truly really matter. For individuals that demand reliable news. From reliable news organizations and credible and award-winning journalists. And how we look at the world. This is exactly the reason why we strive to serve you and the society. Because proper news can not only inform our lives but also change the Welcome back. Delhi Bharatiya Janata Party, PJP leader on Tuesday, sent a legal notice to Amatmi Party leader Atishi over her claims that PJP approached her through a very close person to join the party. The notice sent by Delhi PJP leader Pravin Shankar Kapoor stated that on April 2, 2024, Atishi held a press conference and claimed that she was approached by PJP to join the party. The notice sent through advocate Satya Ranjan Swain on behalf of Pravin Shankar Kapoor stated that Atishi deliberately and with malicious intent made statements that are not only false, scandalous, concorded and illusionary but defamatory to harm the reputation of the PJP and the members. The notice said in the entire speech she neither revealed specific information about the source of information nor has she given any details about the act of PJP. AAP leader and Delhi Minister Tishu on Tuesday alleged that she was approached by the PJP to join them or else she would be arrested by the Director of Enforcement in the coming days. Let's take a look at her statement made on 2nd of April. So, I would like to tell people with all the media कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने मेरे बहुत व्यक्तिगत करीबी व्यक्ति के माध्यम से मुझे भारतीय जनता पार्टी ज्वाइन करने के लिए अप्रोच किया मुझे ये कहा गया कि या तो मैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी ज्वाइन कर लूं अपना पॉलिटिकल करियर बचा लूं 
अपना पॉलिटिकल करियर बढ़ा लूं और अगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी नहीं ज्वाइन करी तो आने वाले एक महीने में ईडी द्वारा मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा ये एक मेरे बहुत करीबी व्यक्ति के माध्यम से मुझे बताया गया उन्होंने कहा कि प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी और भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने अपना मन बना लिया है कि आम आदमी पार्टी को और उसके सभी नेताओं को अब वो कुचलना चाहते हैं खत्म करना चाहते हैं पहले उन्होंने आम आदमी पार्टी के सारे शीर... 12 members of Rajya Sabha took oath on Wednesday. The elected member of Rajya Sabha were administered oath by the Vice President and Chairman Rajya Sabha, Lakdeep Thangkar, in the Parliament House. The elected members include Dhamashila Gupta, Manoj Kumar Jha, Sanjay Yadav, Govind Bhai Lal Bhai, Dolakya Shubhas, Chandar Harsh Majan, G.C. Chandrasekhar, El Murugama Shok Singh, Chandrakant, Andor Media, Vashram Kulkani and Sanda Singh. श्री संजय यादव मैं संजय यादव जो राज्यसभा का सदस्य निर्वाचित हुआ हूं सत्यनिष्ठा से प्रतिज्ञान करता हूं कि मैं विधि द्वारा स्थापित भारत के संविधान के प्रति सच्ची श्रद्धा और निष्ठा रखूंगा मैं भारत की प्रभुता और अखंडता अक्षुण रखूंगा तथा जिस पद को मैं ग्रहण करने वाला हूं उसके कर्तव्यों का श्रद्धापूर्वक निर्वहन करूंगा संजय यादव अचित सदस्य राज्यसभा उच्च सदन के निर्वाचित सदस्य संजय यादव राष्ट्रीय जनता दल के सदस्य हैं संजय यादव बिहार से चुने गए हैं और पहली बार संसद के उच्च सदन के लिए निर्वाचित हुए हैं मैं गोविंद भाई लालजी भाई धोलकिया जो राज्यसभा का सदस्य निर्वाचित हुआ हूं ईश्वर की शपथ लेता हूं कि मैं विधि द्वारा स्थापित भारत के संविधान के प्रति सच्ची श्रद्धा और निष्ठा रखूंगा मैं भारत की प्रभुता और अखंडता अक्षुण रखूंगा तथा जिस पद को मैं ग्रहण करने वाला हूं उसके कर्तव्यों का श्रद्धा पूर्वक निर्वहन करूंगा गोविंद भाई लालजी भाई ढोलकिया निर्वाचित सदस्य राज्यसभा उच्च सदन के निर्वाचित सदस्य गोविंद भाई लालजी भाई ढोलकिया ने शपथ ली भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सदस्य हैं गोविंद भाई लालजी भाई ढोलकिया गुजरात से चुने गए हैं गोविंद भाई लालजी भाई ढोलकिया पहली बार संसद के उच्च सदन के लिए निर्वाचित हुए हैं a powerful 7.2 magnitude earthquake rocked Taiwan on Wednesday, the strongest tremor to hit the island in at least 25 years, killing at least four people, injured, injuring dozens and sparking nearby Japan to issue a brief evacuation advisory for coastal areas. The quake hit shortly before 8 a.m. local time, according to Taiwan's Central Weather Administration. The quake's epicenter was located about 11 miles south of the coastal city of Hualin, about 96 miles southeast of Taipei. Taiwan's government said four people had died in Hualin country and Hualin with some leaning at an angle. Taiwan's Central Weather Administration gave the quake a magnitude of 7.2 while the USGS recorded it at 7.4 with a depth of about 22 miles. The United States Democratic Progressive Azad Party Chief Gulam Nabi Azad, who is set to contest from Antanag Rajori constituency in Jammu and Kashmir on Wednesday, said that his first battle in the Lok Sabha would be for the reinstatement of statehood. The DPAP chief said that he had initially no intentions to contest elections, however, was pushed by his colleagues.
Rajiv Gandhi assassination case convicts Murugam Robert and Jaya Kumar were deported to Sri Lanka from Chennai airport Wednesday morning after they got their passport and received green signal from the Sri Lankan government. Murugam, Jaya Kumar and Robert were staying at the Trichy refugee camp and were taken to the Chennai airport by the Trichy police. Murugan's wife Nalini, who was also a convict in a Rajiv Gandhi assassination case, came to send off Murugam at the Chennai airport on Wednesday. Earlier in March, Nalini filed a petition in the Matras High Court seeking an order from the central and state governments to permit her husband, Murugam, for an interview to obtain a passport to travel to the United Kingdom and settle with his daughter there. The country's longest serving women prisoner serving a life sentence, Nalini was released from the Velour Jail following an order from the Supreme Court free all six convicts, including Nalini Sriharan and R.P. Ravi Chandra, in the case. Former Prime Minister of India, Manmohan Singh, the first Prime Minister outside the Nehru Gandhi family to complete 10 years of two full terms in office, will finish a remarkable political innings in the Rajya Sabha spending 33 years on Wednesday. The architect of India's economic liberalization and the force behind the 2008 Indo-US nuclear agreement, Singh headed a government that transformed the social welfare framework with a bouquet of rights-based legislation and ushered in a slew of Reforms including direct benefit transfer and launch other. Singh 91 was the third PM from the Rajya Sabha after Indira Gandhi in her first term and Indra Kumar Gujarat. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV. Good night. Because sometimes news is more than mere information. And we all need a little more clarity under the details. About life, people and events that truly really matter. For individuals that demand reliable news. From reliable news organizations and credible and award-winning journalists. And how we look at the world. This is exactly the reason why we strive to serve you and the society. Because proper news can not only inform our lives, but also change the way we look at it. We pursue events that are not only important to you, but also useful for our life's perspective. And that's the primary reason Hornbill TV is here, to fill that space. We, we are Hornbill TV. TV. विश्व भर से विभिन्न समाचार जनता राजनीति व्यापार खेल और मनोरंजन सबसे नवीनतम और भरोसेमंद समाचार हॉर्नबिल टीवी भारत आपके लिए दुनिया को देखने का नया दृष्टिकोण प्रस्तुत करता है कल्चरल सस्टेनेबिलिटी इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यू दैट ऑफन गेट्स ओवरलुक्ड it refers to the idea of preserving and sustaining traditional cultures in the face of globalization and modernization. Sustainable tourism also